the next principle is about presenting the product for a product family so the presentation should be as per the product family let me share with you an example to explain this principle of presentation so if you see here on the diagram on graph in front of you the planogram in front of you so this display is done per product family so all product displayed should be as per the product family for example if you are talking about the cookies if you are talking about the biscuits so as per the product family they should be displayed together rather than if you say for example if there are salt cookies if there are sweet cookies if there are cookies which are salt and sweet if there are cookies with cream if there are cookies without cream if there are cookies which are uh, with full grain if you have cookies which is diet cookies so they are all different product families the family is the same they are all cookies actually so they should be displayed and presented together on the shelf because this will give an image of the customer that you have the whole depth and breadth in the assortment and customer can really pick whatever he wants to buy from your store so the principles to follow in it that this product a per product family display has to be a powerful presentation you need to turn article label to the front for example uh, let me give you an example of it for example this product you can see the front of the article on the display so the the face of the product should be in the front on the back of the display the back of the product should be at the back side of the display and then you need to create visually appealing displays of course keeping into consideration the color factor keeping keep into consideration the size factor uh, the, the smallest to largest and the different color combinations will really help identifying the customers to buy more convince customer to buy more then the seventh principle is about presenting the product per size of packaging so you should present in a way that the products should be presented in as, as per the size of the packaging from smallest to largest it is the basic principle which is followed in terms of presentation so normally the articles which are of the smallest size packaging size is small they have presented on the top and the articles which the size of the packaging is large normally they are displayed on the bottom so the principle to follow the articles which are bulk bulk articles or big volume articles or big size articles or big packaging articles they should be presented on proper pallets so display should be there so if if they they can be easily accommodated on the shelf perfectly fine if they are no if they are not easily accommodated on the shelf then they should be placed on the proper palletized area so this main principle was about presenting the product as per the size of the packaging and normally i've uh, just described that the basic principle is that you follow from smallest at the top and the the largest packaging larger size of packaging in the bottom then eighth principle of presentation is about maintaining the product placements so what it is about normally once you see uh, once you visit a store and let me give an example here for example if there was cheese article which is adams cheese and it was here but now this stock is out of stock at the moment because of some issue because of some problem uh, there is an out of stock so you should maintain this place you should not fill it with the products normally uh, these stores which do not work with the proper principles normally if some article is not available they fill it with the article which is available so the basic principle is that you need to maintain the place for this article so that the customer should know that this product you are carrying in your store but at the moment this product is not available just imagine if this product is filled with this product here then the customer will think maybe you do not have this product which is actually the customer wants to buy at that particular time from your store so because uh, you have filled that place so the basic rule is that you need to maintain product placements properly and second is about the turn article label to the front you need to make sure the products have proper facings the not the back side of the product the face of the product should be in front so the eighth principle was about maintaining the product placement there is a set uh, 
schedule for it there is set a rule for it and the rule is for example if you have a non availability of a product for for example 30 days for example 15 days then you can fill that product with some other product otherwise if it is a short term uh, shelf gap then you need to maintain that uh, product placement so that the customer should know that this product is out of stock at the moment and this product will be available in a shorter period of time next is about the turn article labels to the front so the ninth principle was that the, the way you have to present the product this is a yes and this is a no so it, the, the, the two examples are easily a reflector of the point number nine point number nine rule of the presentation once you present the product you see here the facing of the product and in this case you did not know what the product is about maybe the description will tell you description on the top will tell you the product is about uh, it is about uh, it is a juice or it is about a pool it is about some tea it is about some uh, detergent it is about some powder you don't know from the packaging that uh, the, which product it is so turn article label to the front is one of the key rules so from the packaging the customer should know that this product is about uh, uh, is about fruits is about vegetables is about some seasonal product is about clothing or whatsoever it is which is a very right example if you say here clearly identified the product is a pool which is for the uh, for the for the family or for the kids and what you have to keep into consideration these two points do not place articles on the floor again the basic principle was that you should have properly pallets to make product displays the product should not uh, touch the floor directly and the massification the mass merchandising should be very much there because that will create an appeal to the customer that he will uh, buy the product for the retailer